So let's say the measurement is just 40 across back 18. Sleeve length, uh, let's say short sleeves, let's say 9. Around um, 14. Short length, 30. Let's say this is the measurement we are, we are using. So the shirt length plus two inches. That's your allowance. So that will be what's 30 to measure another 32 here. Long way. So I can get a straight line. Getting a straight line. Now you come and check your shoulder. So what's the shoulder? 18. 18 divided by 2. 9. Then we add some um, quarter to it. Then we come down 2 inches. Yeah. Depends on how you want to slope it. Some people slope it 2 and a half. Just to get there. But I think 2 inches is okay. Then you just. On that 2 inches. Huh? Then now, the amortium. No? The amortium is basically the across back divided by two. So across back is what eighteen. So eighteen divided by two is what nine. So the nine, you you uh, you be dropping the shoulder two and a half. After showing the half, it will be left with two inches. Do you get it? Set shoulder. You way back now. The two and a half never come back. Ububa, that it will be on the shoulder half inch, so it will be left with how many inches? Two inches. So we need seven inches here. That will make up the nine. So the seven plus that two will make up the nine. That's the across back divided by two for the whole armhole circumference. So if the across back is eight, uh, 19, that will be what? 9.5. So meaning you, you need here 7.5 and then uh, But if you are dropping the shoulder three, meaning you will be left with 2.5. So meaning you calculate the rest. No? So we need a calculation. So now on a straight line, we need how many inches? Seven inches here. So we can decide to measure the same nine, nine quarter, nine quarter here. So that the line will be very straight. Line. So enjoy your straight line. Then from here, on this line, we come down like some half your quarter to get our chest. So what's the chest? 40. And you need allowance like 1 inch. So you can go a straight line like this. So this is your arm hole line. This is your, your chest right? So this is the arm hole line, right? And we just come in like half inch. And we do our care to meet. So to come in like this, the one inch now the curve. You can still check our cross back. We have the the nine point two. Okay. We are okay, right? So now you can just come down. But in our case, we mostly do vents. So the vent is eleven inches from here. And it's not supposed to be really straight because sometimes the hip side will, will be tight. So on that straight line, you just come here like half inch. You shape it. And then you come here in two inches. Then depending how big you want it. So from here to here, will be let's say 14 inches. You come down 14, 14, 14. I hope you get it. That's basically it. It's a kind of corner. The corner from here to here is 2.5. Sometimes you can check the person's uh -huh, neck. And we have from here to here 3 inches. So that you can draw a line just to make you get the neck very well. Kind of like this. Kind of like this. Yeah, we can use the neck like, to do it so you can.
That's what the band is. Yeah. Same process now. Stop. The back. Right? We are, uh, we've put the front pattern or the front that we cut on the material. If it's a material or bamboo, it's any heavier. Then we measure 2.5. That's for medium, medium size. Uh, 2.5. That's the shoulder drop. So for bigger sizes, you can you can go three inches, and then three point five. Like chest 44, 45, 46. That would be like 46, 47. That would be like three inches drop. Chest uh, 50, 51, 52. That would be three point five drop. Shoulder drop. Then slope. Cut the slope. So the slope is very important. That's how can people get folds when they sew uh, any shirt. They, get, uh, they mostly cut it on a straight line or just a little drop, like one inch. That's where, but it's supposed to be two inches from. So we just come up into this, like half an inch. And we go up like that. And this side is the same. So, so we joining the shoulder by half. So let's just. I wouldn't go over the market a half inch. And fold this next exactly how you want it. Then to cut the the neck on the, the same straight line, we notch like three quarter. Then on the iron mark here, you come down from here, one inch. Yeah, so on the shoulder mark, we come down one inch then it's it's meeting this one at a junction so it's something like this so this the shape will be getting then on this same line we just cut this one straight up like this and then this one comes to meet it very simple and very very easy so now we have our front so we cut the sleeves yeah. how to cut the sleeves fold your fabric or whatever you are using so if you're considering the armhole, uh, the armhole, uh, arm side depth, that's the right stem. That's the armhole circumference. Uh, that's, what about. that's how many inches? Nine. That's the cross back divided by two. So that's nine. So let's know which fabric or fabric. So you, you mark your nine. And sometimes I feel you may short or something, so you just add half an inch. After we we'll check with, um, on the body and then we we'll trim off the excess. So we have 9.5 here. We'll draw a straight line. Now we need a 
sleeve length our sleeve length is nine inches plus half an inch stitch allowance plus uh, uh, hem allowance we can do it two inches 2.5 three inches depends on how you want it so let's make it 2.5 from here so that we can get some sort of thickness here and we also go straight in order to get a straight line let's just use the measurement from here to here that's 12 so let's measure another 12 another 12 Okay, so now you join the points. Let me use that so that we don't. So this, uh, whether the allowance will be here or here, this has is going to be. So on one side, you can either do it here or here, but not here. From here. We'll, we'll come inside five inches. Now people do it six inches. It depends on how you want the armhole to look like, the shape you want it to look like. But it shouldn't be too curved so that will, the person will feel uncomfortable or something. So I mostly do it five inches for all sizes. So you mark your five inches here. And then on the point, you just shape start from here it doesn't really have so you can use your ammo ammo okay to shape it so it comes in like this because you know the shape you want to get so yes go like this uh, then you check your around them the around them we got was how many inches 14 that's uh, the Hem allowance is 2.5, so we we'll mark the hem allowance. 2.5. So that's where the around arm comes in. That's the 14. So this will come in. After the 14, we have one inch allowance. So this will come in mid the one inch allowance here. And then instead of coming down straight, we'll go this way. Just so that when you fold the hem allowance back, it can fall on the same line so it wouldn't be like it's inside or it's like this it can be on this so you come like this it will look something like this we cut yeah, so this is why do that side like that so that I can fall on the same line and it's very nice and very neat if it's more than you can just turn off on the size but I think it's fine like this so we open up and now we will take off half an inch from one side you can either take it off here or here the side you take off will be the part that will follow when you are pinning and the sleeve that will come on the front side so we we'll look for the middle of this somewhere here. Then it comes from here, not from here, but somewhere here. You start getting your half inch and it ends here like this. So you just trim off. So that side will be coming towards the front anytime you are pinning or joining your sleeves to the body. So this is how it looks like. Very simple and very nice. So this side will be coming towards the front side. So you can either notch that side so that it will be easy, easily identified. And this side should also be notched. But so you know that's the, that's the main sleeve length. Yes. Basically, but we are not done. We are done, but we are not done. We have to check if our sleeves will fit in the armhole. Remember, we added some half inch to it. So now we put the front and back down as we did. Then, so this is the front side. So this side is supposed to come towards, like I was saying, so it will start from somewhere here. Then it goes 
behind that. So we already know, so we are marching the back. I guess you see if we have we don't have essence. So now we are supposed to trim off that half inch we added because it's not needed. Because sometimes you can short, so that's why we mostly add. So it's just entering the we are not taking anything. You can still come and check. You do it slowly. Check if it will fit. So we still have a little allowance to cut off. I'm sure it should be fine by now. So anytime you are fixing the sleeves, you are very sure that it will fix perfectly. And then you can re reduce the excess fabric that that causes the shoulder to fold and all that. So this is a perfect way. Thank you.